Hi everyone, my name is Anatoly Latayev and I'm the founder of Migronis. Right now I'm on the property of the Kempinski Hotel. This is the first five-star hotel in Dominica that was opened in 2019. second successful project of range developments. They build real estate in the Caribbean countries where you can obtain citizenship. Kempinski project also it was another challenge uh, because Kempinski this is their uh, first hotel in the Western Hemisphere. Of course Kempinski known in Europe in Middle East. They are the oldest uh, hotel chain and it was very difficult to convince them to come uh, as a first venture in an island. And this is the policy of range and the owners of range actually. We are, as I said, we are not just building to sell CBI programs. We are building for something to stay on the ground for a long, 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 long time. And, I, and everybody, you know, to be proud of owning a share in the hotel. Owning a share in the hotel. While, as I said, I don't want to compare to others because it's totally uncomparable where you buy shares and there is no hotels. It's in a convenient location within about a one-hour drive from the airport on the premises of a national park. The cost of a share is $220,000, plus extra expenses for legal services, state fees, share registration, and so on. Since the amount of these fees can fluctuate, we've created an online calculator for all citizenship by investment programs. You can find a link to it in the description below this video. By using this calculator, you'll get a total and accurate cost for your family's composition. Holding a share in this hotel, you will not only get a passport, but also receive annual dividends of about 1-3%, to depending on the hotel occupancy rate, as well as a loyalty card, discounts on hotel accommodation, room upgrades, and early check-ins within the global Kempinski Hotel Network. In five years, you can sell this share and retain citizenship. Additionally, anyone who buys this share will have that right too. A secondary real estate market for passport program purposes is being developed in Dominica. Because there are a number of investors who are interested in buying a share in a fully commissioned hotel rather than waiting for a hotel to be constructed. On top of that, those individuals who invest have the right to stay one week a year free of charge at the Kempinski Hotel here in Dominica. We shouldn't confuse Dominica and the Dominican Republic. The Dominican Republic does not offer citizenship programs and its passport provides no advantages, unlike Dominica. There are two options of obtaining citizenship in Dominica. The first one is real estate investment, and as of 2020, up to 10 properties have been approved. This is a relatively low figure compared to other countries. For example, in St. Kitts, more than 60 have been approved. And in St. Kitts, there are properties that are yet to be completed. Dominica hasn't had such cases so far. That's why it's safe to invest here, as the government vets developers very carefully. At present, we have about seven real estate projects that are approved. What we try to do in Dominica is to not to approve too many projects. So every project gets a fair chance of uh, succeeding. We started off with about five projects. We had Tranquility, we had uh, Kempinski, we had Anichi, uh, Jungle Bay, etc. Last year we had the opening of Jungle Bay and we also had the opening of K Kempinski. So the government approved uh, the rainforest tram and uh, one other. So we are presently have, uh, have about five. But Kempinski, for instance, was sold out last year. So they have sold out. Uh, we have Jungle Bay that is open. They still have some more shares to sell, but they're not sold out yet. But they, they're well on, on the way there. So we, we limit the number of projects to ensure that each project gets a fair amount of investors and a fair chance of succeeding. I hope you found this video useful. If you want to find out more about the citizenship programs in Dominica, about the country, and about Caribbean citizenship programs, follow the links in the description below this video. Ask your questions in the comments and subscribe to our channel. Bye-bye!